What's going on dudes? JPOT here bringing you another fantastic gameplay commentary. Today we are playing the Cauldron. Yes, some motherfucking PvP action here on Destiny. And that's why I'm bringing you guys this video because I want to talk a little bit about Destiny. I want to do a little dibble dabble on the matter. For starters, Destiny has finally gone gold. The, with the House of Wolves, it feels like it's finally complete as a full retail release, in my opinion. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's got a lot of things going for it, but this new House of Wolves, they have corrected so many things. I mean, I take that back. Crotus uh, is still, he's a big old heaping pile of fucking shit. I fucking hate that guy. He's a glitchy, hap happy motherfucker. But that's neither here nor now. But yes, thank you so much for joining me. Enjoy the Cauldron gameplay, playing some uh, Control, I do believe. And uh, yeah, don't fuck with my Hawkmoon. Yes, I hope you enjoyed the title of the video. I, was, I hope it was enough for you to even click on the video. But yes, my fucking Hawkmoon. And I bring up my Hawkmoon because of Trials of Osiris. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's just start in one point. Yes, some fantastic 28 and 3 uh, PvP control gameplay here for you guys to uh, rest your your beautiful eyes on. Yes, oh yes, yes, that is a two piece with the light of the abyss. So, god damn, got so much to talk about. Fucking Destiny finally feels good. It finally feels good. And I'll be one of those guys to be the first to admit that yes, I do have 500 hours into this into this game, and uh, yeah, that's a lot. But then again, at the same time, that's a fucking blink of time to some of these people who have 1,200 hours into Destiny, and it really puts the retrospect on you. Think you you you, you think you're doing work? No, no. There's people out there that this is their fucking life. This is their life, and. And I absolutely enjoy this game. I can't quit playing it. I don't know if you guys watched my video, um, I don't know, six months ago about uh, why the hell am I still playing this game. This game essentially is comfort food. It is that favorite pair of sweatpants that I like to wear when I go to bed. And I'm sure you guys got your, your little blanket. Everybody's got a little blankie that they like to snuggle with. Snuggle with the blanket. Yeah, fuck that shit. But yes, Destiny. Absolutely wonderful. It finally feels good. I, 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 I don't know how many times I'm going to say that in today's video. Look at this douchebag. <laughs> Get with the program, dude. Uh, but yeah, um, I don't know how many times I'm going to say it. this game finally feels good. With all the patches and the updates and the, 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 the balances and the tweaks. It's, oh my god. And House of Wolves. House of Wolves. House of motherfucking wolves. It is by far ten times way better than Crota. And I'm getting sick and tired of hearing some of you guys. It doesn't have a raid. Shut the fuck up. That's what Trials and the Prison of Elders essentially is. It is a three-man raid. And how I enjoy it so goddamn much. I, I just... It's... My god. I can't stress to you how much <laughs> House of Wolves, how awesome it is. The gear, the weapons. Uh, let's just go ahead and talk about what I've accomplished so far. And yes, I'm not bringing you guys any House of Wolves gameplay yet because, you know, I don't think you guys are ready for the fucking awesomeness. I really don't think you guys are. So that's why I'm giving you guys some 28 and 3 Hawkmoon kick ass. Look at this guy. Oh, we got lag. Yep. Yeah, get the fuck out of there. That's what you do when you see lag. You just get the fuck out of there. But yes, House of Wolves. Let's start. Trials of Osiris. I was able to uh, run a my first trials with D1 and uh, who else? Who, who, who was it? With? Oh, Great Eagle. Yes, Great Eagle and D1. And we absolutely destroyed it. Absolutely destroyed it. But I was unfortunate enough to only make it to my 6 and 0 before I had to bounce out. I had a family emergency. D1, Eagle, I'm sure you'll understand. Um, my second run with a different character uh, with Undead and JR, let's just say that it is tough. I mean, a lot of you guys out there, you know, you're running with your thorns and you think you're cool. You're not that fucking cool because we had the thorns. It's just one of those things. It's just one of those things. Trials is 
it, it's pitting you up against this balanced server. And I was actually speculating with D1 and or Eagle about this. So we went on 6 and 0. Oh. And then it started getting hard. Like that 4 and 0, oh, like we were pitted up against 334s with nothing but thorns. And then the 5 and 0, oh, same thing. 6 and 0, oh, even worse, you know? And and that's what I'm thinking. Does Bungie have control over who they put together? Or is there really this RN Jesus that is, you know, uh, within a second's notice, just balancing you out because of uh, connectivity or seeing your stats so they know you, you're pitted up better against this team? Whatever they're doing, I absolutely enjoyed it. I absolutely enjoyed it. I love the balancing mechanic mechanism that they're using for Trials of Osiris. It's stern, but fair. Let me say that again. Stern, but fair. All right, moving on to Prison of Elders. That's just fucking awesome. Prison of Elders is absolutely fantastic. A five-round wave of arena enemies. It's a three-man PvE run, and that's what makes it the raid. So again... We don't get a raid because we already have a raid. Are you fucking that dumb? Okay, I'm sorry to be frank to some of you guys. Sorry to hurt your feelings. But yes, that's what Prison of Elders is. And this is what I've been looking for because a six-man raid is fucking hard to do. Atheon and Crota, it is hard to schedule and coordinate, especially if you're running on hard. Uh, especially if you're running hard Crota. You need six people, and you need six people who know what the fuck they're doing with prison of elders not so much you got the 28 level matchmaking and you got the 32 34 and 35 runs and i haven't been able to do a 34 and a 35 yet i'm just i, I I'm, I'm just a little at a time that's what i'm doing i'm trying not to get burnt out on house of wolves because that's what's going to happen essentially is going to become obsolete and that's the problem because everybody's going to max out at 34. You're going to have all of the gear. You're going to have all of the weapons. You're going to have everything that you need to cap the game and then go back and do Atheon and Crota again. I, I, I just don't see a lot of longevity for Prison of Elders. Yes, it's fucking awesome. Yes, it's fun. It's different every time. That's why they put the RNGs of modifiers on it. It's kind of like a nightfall mixed with a raid. I absolutely love Trials, and I'm sick and tired of hearing people bitching and moaning, there's not a raid, no raid, I'm serious, I'm sick and tired of hearing that shit, that's what Trials is, I mean, get with the program, guys, seriously, get with the program, so, let's go ahead and summarize what we've learned today, number one, J-Pot loves House of Wolves, it is official, badass, fantastic, makes Crota look like a bitch, number two, Prison of Elders is fun. It's a fucking blast. And however, it's going to get old. It's going to get pretty old goddamn fast. Number three, Trials of Osiris. My God, that is fucking awesome. If you are into PvP, this is right up your fucking alley. Um, let's go ahead and wrap up the video. It's time to go, guys. It is time to go. House of Wolves is awesome. If you guys have been playing it, let me know. If you guys got some fantastic experiences that you've come across, let me know. Share it down in the comments below. If you have any concerns about House of Wolves and you thought a few viewpoints that I had was also concerning, bring it up. Chit chat with me, guys. Talk to me. Participate. Conversate. It's very, very important. I love talking to you sexy bitches. All right, guys. I got to get the fuck out of here. I got a little special treat just for the ones who made it all the way to the end. Enjoy that moment of zen. Take it easy. Peace the fuck out. Fuck the police. It's the golden shower, bitches.